What makes us so different? I mean, what separates human from, say, a lion, or a lizard, or an ant? An ant lives to survive. I live to have fun, to thrive, to touch the corners of the universe with my fingertips. But there are billions of different people out there, and billions before I was even born. If there really is a way to show my potential to the world, I have to see what others have done. And those people have left their mark in the world forever. Wherever I go, there's someone trying to communicate with me. In the shower. In the restaurant. With every word I take in, I expand my knowledge some way or another. And that's the power of words. That's the power of the art of literature, which is a knowledge goldmine. To interpret, to dissect, the contents of a literary work? That's a whole other spectrum. When analyzing a work, it's almost like diving into someone's brain and drinking their mind. So I interpret works in a way that others might not agree with. There are works like Madame Bovary, in which I see Emma as a woman that refused to be contained by societal boundaries. Or Candide, where I learned not to philosophize too much and not to believe money solves every problem. In fact, it creates more problems than it solves. Walden, by Henry David Thoreau, showed me the pleasures of simplicity. That superfluous things, anything more than useful, were necessary for a happy life. I don't know if these messages were of the author's original intents, but it doesn't matter. I don't agree with every one of the viewpoints I see, but I know now that they exist. And with these newfound perspectives, I can develop and hone my own.